All right, guys, what's going on? It's DJ with Wingate Gaming. Today we're gonna to be back on spin tires or mud runner, I guess. Still spin tires, but um, we're going to pick up where we left off with the other one. Um, I was actually watching more of the videos online or on YouTube of kind of how to. Um, I wouldn't. Well, Dream, no, I'm sure if I turn the uh, trucks off, so I don't even really see why that would drain any fuel. Yeah, that's fine, whatever. Alright, so, I was actually watching some of the videos on YouTube, and I was kind of looking to see how they played the game, because like I said, I'm not, I'm not really sure, I've never played the game before, so, I actually was looking at some of the videos, and a lot of them started off by getting the, the garage up there. And trying to get the watch points discovered. That way you can see more of the map. So I think that's actually going to be what we try to do. I'm going to get this truck down here. And try to get all the way up to this garage. And with the fuel station being up there. We won't really have to worry about, um, worry about the running out of fuel. So... We have the log station. I'm assuming we can pick up logs there, and then that shouldn't be too hard. Maybe get back on a road and head down to that lumber mill. And then from there, we should be able to, um, hopefully, if all goes as planned, kind of finish what we're, what we're trying to do. So, let's see. All right. Get this thing. Probably turn the parking brake off. Oh uh, no, that's not what I want to do. Turn this thing off. No, 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 stop. There we go. All right, we were going to actually switch to the C three seven five. Gonna switch to that. See what we have. Alright, we don't even really have anything on it, so we could probably drop that, because if we're going to another garage, we won't have to worry about bringing that with us, and that would just overcomplicate it. So, detach trailer, turn it on, parking brake off, all wheel on. Now, we might be better off actually putting something on the back of this just that way we have weight and we don't have to worry about not having weight in the back because although weight will bog you down a little bit sometimes that's for the best so uh, how do we oh right green support fireproof exhaust I don't really know what that does for us Fuel pads, no. Garage points, no. Garage trailer, we already have that there. Um, let's see. No. Mm. I don't know that we really want to carry a trailer. Um, let's see. Maybe. Actually, yeah, maybe put a trailer on that way. We don't have to worry that much. I keep pushing B to get out of that. It's just turning the parking brake on and off. Alright. Turn the diff lock on. And uh, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, I'll turn this bad boy around. Now, I believe you can actually put that little Jeep in the back of this if you wanted to. Alright. We want to hit the road this way. And just kind of follow this mud road. Not even gonna call it, try to call it a dirt road. Come on, come on, you got it, you got it. Yeah, and if it comes down to it, we can just drop the trailer. It's not that big of a deal. It's something we can always come back and try to get. Uh, 
fine with diff lock off. Or at least for right here, that is. So yeah, I ended up playing a little bit more uh, last night with the, I believe they're called the challenges. Just trying to get a better feel of the game, trying to figure out, you know, because like the tutorial even says, you don't learn everything in the tutorial. It's just kind of the basics of the game. So the challenge is it's really nice to be able to, I don't want to say, tell you everything about the game, but oh my god, I look down at my phone because it's right now the dolphins are trading their entire team away. Um, yeah, it, 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 it helped. I think I'd done all of the challenges except for the very last one. And I gotta say, they're... I don't want to say they're challenging, but it, it tests you at times. Now, I know there was one of them, you have to drive a car through the mud. It has no four-wheel drive, and uh, you can't, well, you can use a winch, and you can let off the throttle if you don't want to worry too much about the, the bonus challenges. But I like to get the bonus challenges, so I was trying to do that. I tell you, it's it's not the easiest thing to do. Alright, try to get around here. Oh. This camera angle is just awful. Absolutely awful. Uh, this truck's doing pretty good for what we're doing. Half expecting to get stuck. I say that. Come on. You got it. You got it. You got it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Alright. We got it. And I've noticed these law, like the down trees, those will fuck you up more than anything. And I mean more than anything. Holy shit, will they fuck you up. Oh, come on. You got it, you got it. And I I was actually looking in one of the challenges you are... Yeah, one of the challenges. I, I keep wanting to call it like a mini game. Um, it... Like you, you're towing a, no, another truck... And I was, I was, at first, I wasn't sure how it worked. So when you winch to another vehicle, you can, you, like, you actually somewhat drive it, if that makes sense. Like, as you're winched to it, it has, it, oh, shit. I don't know where I'm going. I kind of want to go get that, that watch point. I don't think I want to follow this. Doesn't seem like something I want. It's like a river almost more than it is a road. Oh shit. But yeah, as you winch to the truck, <clears throat> you can actually choose between... When you push Y, you can choose if it drives or if, like... Like, say you were stuck, and you were the rear truck, you could connect the truck in front of you, and you could choose whether it drives forward, or if the winch pulls, like you're trying to reel in the winch, which I really like that. It, it adds almost like a multiplayer aspect when you're playing single player, if that makes sense, because you're not always going to have someone there to be able to drive that truck forward, so it's nice to be able to push a button and the truck drives forward. Oh shit, where are we going? We've turned away from where we want to go, so maybe this way? Try to get up on solid ground real quick. Oh, that's not what we want to drive through. Oh. Come on, come on. 
we can... It doesn't look too deep yet. This truck's doing amazing right now. <laughs> I'm surprised we haven't just bogged down yet. Which luckily we have trees all around us if we do get bogged down, so it's not that big of a deal. We've got so far off the path that we were originally taking that I don't even... The road just disappeared, so I don't know if I was just not paying attention or if it really did just disappear. Let's go. Come on. Almost. All right. Just gotta get that trailer over that little hump right there. We should be, should be good. Oh, there's a road right there. Come on. I don't know how we ended up getting off that road. I think this is the road we were we were on, so I don't know. Oh, we took this way here. We should have turned here and, okay. All right, I see where I fucked up. All right, so this is a pretty clear shot all the way up on the road. Getting a little bit low on gas, or fuel, I should say. Luckily that, actually, I don't know, is the fuel canister full? Check that after we get around here. Oh, come on, come on. All right. Get that trailer out of there and then we'll stop. This looks pretty, pretty solid. Oh, it's not full. That, I don't want to say it's concerning, but it's not ideal. Because now we have to, we have to get all, I don't think we're going to make that, to be honest with you. I guess if it comes down to it, we can try to, eesh, I don't know. Ah, uh, that sucks. There is that fuel station there, though. So maybe... Because you're going to burn more fuel having this trailer. So I wonder if we're not better off dropping this trailer here. Getting to... Fuck, we didn't... Motherfucker, I didn't think it through. I didn't bring garage points. You need the garage points to unlock the garages, but this trailer doesn't have garage points. Alright, so, driving, driving here is pointless in the first place. Alright, so, what we might do, is this thing is going to end up running out of fuel, we're not going to make it there. So, what I could do, is actually just get, get up over here, with this truck, and just leave it for the moment, anyway, and actually I might just be better off bringing it across the bridge, make sure I don't drive off the bridge, alright, and then just pull over to the side here, we can get over to the side here, alright, and we are going to have to get that truck that is at out of the fuel station. We're gonna have to go grab that real quick. Drive it. Actually, we could use this the the B sixty six. What does it have? Garage utility tin. Garage utility. Um. Okay, so it has fuel, and it should have repair, yeah, it has repair points. I'll use that real quick, just because it is a little bit damaged. 
and we'll bring this over to that other garage now the one that we originally started at that way we can change the utilities on it to something with garage points that way we can unlock that garage and then while we're there we can switch that to a fuel canister on the back of the truck bring it to the fuel station right next to that garage and then we can go refuel that truck so we have a plan is it going to work out like that? Eh. alright if we can get across this because these this uh, these river crossings are crazy oh no oh no not the way that we want to go. Right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Monk, 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 monk. I was actually watching... I was watching some of the videos of the original Spin Tire game. And I guess it didn't have the quick winch. So you actually had to stop. Or I wouldn't... Yeah, I guess you'd have to stop to go to advanced in like the middle of river crossings and try to use the winch really quick before your truck got swept away. So I, I like having that quick winch. Just push Y and then push Y again to connect. Ooh, getting a little swirly here. What was here? I don't think anything was here. Alright. Come on. Come on. Oh, I fucked this road up that other truck. What is that? Oh, that's the that front end loader. We don't really need that. I guess if it comes down to it, we might end up having to use that, but I don't think we really need to do it at the moment. I think that thing would be good for saving a vehicle if you really had to. Alright, so we're gonna get over to over to this garage, and then and from there we will go get that other garage. Alright, so we're back at the first garage. Now what we have here, the utility tent only carries one garage point. And this garage cart only carries another one, one point, and you need four to be able to unlock the garage. So I don't really want to have to make two trips, so I might actually just bring bring this truck down and see if maybe maybe if we can. Um, get more garage points with that one because I really don't want to have to make two trips through there when I could easily just maybe get it all at once with this one so I think that's what I'm going to do I'm going to drive this one down and we'll go from there oh, alright so I've ended up getting the truck stuck in that, that area so or this little, like, I don't even know. It looks like a swamp, to be honest with you. Luckily, the, the Jeep was already over here. So I'm trying my best to use it to try to pull it out. But I tell you, this truck heavy. Very heavy. And it's just... It's not working here. I'm just bogging myself down right here. And there's no trees really close enough to me. I could try to pull myself backwards with that truck. Get myself out of this shitty situation.
because I was trying to avoid this really wet area right here. But that almost seemed to fuck me over more than if I just went through it. Everything is just breaking. Alright. I think I'm going to need to release winch to that tree there. Pull myself almost all the way back to it. There we go. Maybe. Slowly but surely. Alright. Change truck. This episode has turned into just rescuing this truck. Holy shit. Alright, right there might be a better... Here we go, here we go. Might have it, might have it. This is on a little bit more solid ground. We're moving. Change the gear on this thing. Uh, I think we might have it, maybe. Even if we can just get it close enough to this tree. system is just great. I love it. Let's see if we can get up by ourselves. We officially have got this thing unstuck. Now, at this point, I might as well just winch to this and bring it along with us. Because if we need it again, it, it helped us. This side of the truck so I can see the damn break. I want to use first person, but at the same time, I don't. If the mirrors worked, it'd be great. Because then you can kind of really see what you're looking at, or see what's behind you, I guess. But with those things not working, it's not the greatest. Maybe in the future they'll add that, but for right now, I do not have mirrors. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I forgot about this river crossing. This truck is heavy. Which might actually help us. get stuck between here and the garage. I'll see you there. Alright, so we're back at the garage. And I think it might be best 
is maybe ending this episode here. I didn't really anticipate trying to save this thing. So I think we'll end this episode here. In the next episode, we will bring this thing up to that other garage with the garage points that we have hopefully are going to equip this thing with and we will go from there so i think what we're gonna do skip the night real quick end this on a uh on a, on a morning and hopefully by the end of this day we'll be up at the other garage it's been DJ with Wingate Gaming. Thank you for watching. Have a good night.